like to invite Kamal onto the stage, CEO of Bridge Street, for a snapshot 10 minute chat. We tried to speed him things up, uh, Kamal, so I hope you don't, uh, don't mind. Take a seat. All right, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for the introduction. I'm Kamal Advani, CEO of Bridge Street. Um, long tenure on the job. I've, uh, I've, I've been here for two and a half days. Um, <laughs> but that said, um, I've worked with Bridge Street as a board member since 2014. So I've spent a lot of quality time with management and pre been pretty closely involved in a lot of the strategic and tactical decisions. So of course, it's completely different role being, a, being the CEO in place. Um, but you know, I come to the table with a fair amount of familiarity of the company and a little familiarity of the space. Um, background, as I mentioned earlier, um, I, I am part of the operations group um, of Versa, that's the primary owner of Bridge Street. Um, and in that capacity, you know, spent a lot of time with our operating companies, have also over the years run a number of companies. So, you know, it's kind of getting back into that saddle. Um, very excited to be here, both at this summit and at Bridge Street. Um, I don't think I need to say a lot about all the exciting things that are happening in this space. You know, there were comments earlier when you were looking for names for the conference, words such as disruption and alternate accommodation were being used. And, and Jan obviously made a pretty good case for the growth that's taking place in this segment of lodging. Um, so, you know, I think it's a very exciting place to be. I think Bridge Street is well positioned to benefit from some of these changes. And, and I'm sure everybody is. I mean, a rising tide, you know, lifts all boats. So I think we're all kind of sitting in a very exciting place. Okay, okay. I've seen, uh, you know, Bridge Street on a bit of a roll at the moment, mainly, you know, mainly from the amount of awards that you've been, been winning, you know, particularly on the other side of the pond, you know, Business Travel Award, you won a Service Department uh, Award. What's Bridge Street focus now, I suppose? Could you share, share what's happening, you know? Sure. Yeah. Um, so our goal is, is essentially unchanged. You know, I think we've been laser focused on driving demand for our supply partners. Um, we do that in a variety of ways. We've been expanding the sales force. We've been trying to significantly enhance adoption by travel managers. And we've been connecting to a variety of challenges. I, I'm sorry, a variety of channel partners. Um, you know, with regard to the travel managers, um, you know, and this touches on some of the things that have been discussed in the last hour. Um, you know, we're basically trying to give them more choice. Uh, we're trying to, to make it easier for them to uh, enable compliance, which, as we understand it, is one of their hottest buttons, and give them more transparency. Uh, so, you know, ultimately, it's uh, in many respects, it's the old fashioned go out and find ways to drive demand for your partners. Okay. And what about? maybe the tech side of the, the business, can you just? Sure, yeah, so, so on the evolved. tech side, you know, I think our view is that uh, you know, we're trying to essentially build our business and stay up with the evolution of this industry by, by relying on transformative and relevant technology. Um, so I think you know, some of the principles when, when, when we look at what we think the market wants and what we're hearing, is the market wants more transparency, the market wants more convenience, um, and the market wants more choice. And I think some of these things are not a surprise to anybody. Businesses in many industries have, to some degree, followed what the business employees have been able to do as consumers. Um, so, you know, our view is that if we cater to these desires, uh, businesses like consumers will change uh, and move more towards buying things on demand versus using a bid process to purchase, which has not been uncommon in our industry. Um, and then we think that as they evolve into buying things on demand, and as there is more available for them to buy on demand, it'll actually expand our market. So it'll go beyond some of the more traditional 
um, areas of extended stay, such as RELO or consulting. Um, and, you know, we will have an opportunity to go into transient travel. We will have an opportunity to go into many other segments of travel. And, you know, we think that will benefit the industry as a whole. Okay. And what's the, the benefit to suppliers of working with Bridge Street? So, so you know, I, th I think the suppliers, to some degree, the things we're talking about doing for uh, to generate demand benefit suppliers, because um, the more demand we can generate, obviously, there's a direct benefit. Um, I think, you know, we also in, uh, have been working hard to make our technology easier to use for suppliers. And then ultimately, um, you know, I think the, the, the platform has the potential to give suppliers a lot of data to manage their businesses well. So it, it, it's interesting because, you know, we think about a lot of these things and we're sitting here, it's 1030, this conference has been going on for an hour and a half. And it's really interesting to me that the last two speakers touched on exactly these topics. So I don't think we're doing anything revolutionary. I think we're trying to stay at the front end of the change, just like many of you are. I think we're trying to be relevant both to the corporate buyer as well as uh, to the supply partners. And just to, just to sum up, your outlook for the, for the future, for maybe a macro environment, there's lots of positives said this morning on extended stay, maybe a couple of black, black clouds as, uh, as well. What's your, what's your, your take? I mean, I, our outlook for the future is very positive for this sector. Um, I think the whole world is concerned about the timing of a recession. I don't think it's easy to guess when that's gonna happen and how that might play. But I like to think that whether or not we, you know, go through a little dip, we are, as a sector, gonna benefit from a pretty big change that's taking place. Um, I think alternate lodging is a growing area. I think it's growing partly because of what many of us are doing in this room. I think that the Airbnb that many of us feared three, four years ago is actually uh, providing a benefit in that they are popularizing alternate accommodation. Um, I think they are more likely to focus on the consumer sector and they will probably provide some usage for business, but there is, you know, there is a big benefit for professionally managed supply um, because no matter where the market goes, I think there's a big chunk of the market that c will continue to want that. And, you know, there's, there's a big opportunity ahead of us. Okay, okay. Kamal, I think we'll, we'll cut it there. It's a 10 minute snapshot. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Round of Thank applause, you very please. Much for okay. Me. Nice. Super. Nice.